Okay, so I'll just take this opportunity to um, introduce um, myself and Muck. So I'm Becky. I'm I'm just along for the ride. Super grateful to um, be working with Muggs, who is the founder of this program. And um, so Muggs founded this program 28 years ago. She has been practicing yoga for 50 years this year, and. Um, uh, we're so grateful for this program and we're excited to have each of you joining us um, to learn about our programs, ask whatever questions you have ongoing and um, yeah, so Muggs, please uh, take the lead and, and uh, start us off. Thanks, Becky. I think you're more than on for just the ride, but... <laughs> It's true, this is my 50th year of yoga, and I think that's one of the things that I did want to point out, that if you really want to know yoga, if you really want to benefit deeply from yoga, then becoming a teacher is a great way to do that. And you never have to teach, but to take the teacher training, or even to take the retreat at the teacher training, will expand your knowledge immensely so that it's just beyond the asanas or the postures on the mat, so you can integrate it into your life. And I would have to say that it's the one thing in my life that has been consistent since I have been 17 years old that I started yoga then and I've never looked back and largely it's more than what's on the mat, but it's how it affects my day-to-day -day life and my thought patterns and the way I approach life. So uh, we started the South Okanagan Yoga Academy in um, 1995. It was really uh, a group of people that said, we can't find a yoga teacher training, so we really want you to teach us. And it was Daryl Bogle and myself who were the teachers in the Okanagan in Penticton at the time. So we based this training on the International Yoga Teachers Association training, of which I was the Canadian representative, the Yoga Association of Alberta, of which Darielle was a yoga teacher trainer for them, and also the British Wheel of Yoga. So it is internationally recognized and it is highly regarded in India as well by people there because of the fact that we take you into really great deep stuff about yoga and it's not just surface. So since then, uh, we've always trained small groups of people. It's never been about uh, huge numbers because our purpose is to really dive deep and give you the opportunity to explore the aspects of yoga that you personally want to develop within yourself. Um, I did want to ask before I go into content, of the folks who are here, are you interested in the 200 hour foundational training or are you already trained as a teacher and you wanna go into advancing into the 300 hour or are you just wanting to know more and potentially come on board as a retreat? So, okay, 200 hour from Sarah, thank you. So I can focus then on that. Uh, Erica, is a 200 hour for you as well? Yes, okay, all right, foundational, great. All right, and there may be people who are waiting for the recording and uh, that are interested in more. I know that there's others that are very, oh, already 500 hour teachers. Thank you, Ivan. Uh, and so then what we'll do is, um, if we have time at the end, we can approach where to go from the foundational, but I want to be very um, aware of your time as well on this and give you time for questions. So in the 200 hour foundational training, we do offer a lot of philosophy studies in really life changing information. So from the Patanjali's Yoga Sutras, which is all about the mind and the aspects of the mind 
So yoga really is about the mind, even when you're on the mat. Your attitude when you get on the mat impacts how you do your yoga. So the Patanjali's Yoga Sutras is the meditation and mind pathway of yoga. So we study that. We also study the Bhagavad Gita, which is the Yana Yoga, Raja Yoga, and Bhakti Yoga. So right there's four paths. The yoga of the mind is Raja Yoga. We have Yana, Bhakti, or I said Raja, but I mean Karma. <laughs> so there's four pathways of yoga right there, plus the Hatha Yoga, which is the yoga of your asanas on the mat. So Yana Yoga is wisdom and knowledge. And Raja Yoga, the yoga of the mind. Karma Yoga is the yoga of action, all the actions that we take in our day-to-day -day lives, how we can be more conscious about them and the impact that they have on ourselves and others. And the Bhakti Yoga is the yoga of love and devotion, to see the divine in others. And so these two yoga texts are very foundational in introducing you to the pathways of yoga. Uh, additionally, we have uh, training in the chakras in depth. I've seen people come out of trainings and they really don't know anything about the chakras, but the energy centers within the body, daily practice in pranayama, meditation, mantra, uh, introduction to beautiful bhajans or chanting and then as you get into the yoga postures how to teach them how to modify them for people who come into your class who may have tight hamstrings or high blood pressure we're not diagnosing we're just simply modifying so that everybody can be a participant fully in the class. So we'll teach you how to do those modifications. So by the end of the training in the 200 hour foundational, you've got six lesson plans created to your um, liking. So the way that you want to teach and the group that you want to teach. So who's your audience? Is it going to be seniors? Is it going to be a dynamic, you know, younger adult? Etc. Who's your audience? And then you can design six classes and how to progress through those classes so that when you walk away from here, you are ready and you will have already practiced teaching. From day one, you start practice teaching. So it's very exciting to come out and feel prepared and get over the fear of presenting in front of people because you've already presented in front of your peers and any guests that you invite to come to those classes. So let's see if there was anything else that I wanna just make sure there. Um, I just wanted to say that part of the thing about Soya is we don't have an actual location. We've always provided yoga in different locations for you. So we have numerous locations, retreat centers. We offer in Mexico, in Costa Rica, online, uh, Edmonton, the Okanagan, the Calgary area. Potentially other places have invited us such as Lethbridge or Creston, et cetera. We've gone to sort of places invite us right now. Becky's teaching in Lacombe because a studio has invited her to teach there. So we try to bring the yoga to you and make it accessible rather than have one location that people have to travel to. So we make it possible. You want to travel to some warm country, we'll be there for you. <laughs> and otherwise we can uh, make it more accessible for you in these ways. And it's all Yoga Alliance registered. We meet the highest of standards with them and with the International Yoga Teachers Association. So with the International Yoga Teachers Association, which is over 50 years, I think it's been around for 55 years now. Its headquarters are in Australia, but it has other locations around the world. With the 500 hour certification, you don't have to write their exams anymore. They uh, accept our grads as equivalency. So you can become a international full certified teacher with them. 
especially if you want to travel in different areas around the world. Uh, so I think that's enough for now, and we can go on to further stuff. I think you're muted, Becky. Thank you, Max. <laughs> okay, so um, just moving on into uh, you know the variety of locations that we are uh, offering yoga programs out of, um, or and the variety of formats that we're offering them. Right, so we have weekend yoga teacher trainings where we meet for over the course of eight weekends. Um, those are generally for people who are within um, you know a relatively local area. So we have uh, weekend trainings, one about to start in Penticton um, and uh, Lacombe, we're just in the midst of that one and we're just booking next year's dates and likely there'll be um, something happening in the Calgary area as well in the coming year. Um, we're always interested to hear where you're located. So if everyone, if you don't mind sharing in the chat box where you guys are from and and if you have a certain type of training that you're really interested in we'll we'll um oh great awesome nice that's really exciting so um down in the u.s and and ivan's in victoria nice on the island there so we have programs down in the u.s we have um a hybrid and immersion trainings as well as um online trainings hosted by our u.s teacher uh she is located in traverse city and uh in the uh sort of sort of summer months and in the winter months she's located in New Smyrna Beach, Florida. So we have, and I've got all the programs here, so um, we have uh, immersion trainings in Traverse City um, that you can also choose to make as a hybrid or take it fully online and, and um, Terry is right there, she'd be able to mentor you there. Um, I would also add to that, Gabby, that um, and to Tara that she does a beautiful hybrid where you start with one module online and then if you're interested to go to Costa Rica she wraps it up in Costa Rica. Thank you. Yes. And so she will be going to Costa Rica in February, uh, and it's in a beautiful location there. And so that's one potential, but you can also just mix and match with her. So you can do the whole thing online, or you can do part of it online and part of it go to retreat in Florida, or part of it go to uh, Michigan. And so we'll send you that information afterward. And also we can get you in touch with Terry. So if you want to email her or phone her, you can chat with her. She's just in the process, I think, of heading down to Florida in sep uh, sorry, on the 17th. And so there'll be a little delay in her travel there. But we've done both. We've been in her place in Michigan and her place in Florida and in Costa Rica. And she just picks wonderful locations. But it's very personal, small group, and lots of attention with her. Yeah, so I'm just I'm just pulling the dates up about about that. <clears throat> Excuse me. So just in regards to the the US programs um, for the hybrid programs um, that online begins March 7th to May 30th and then you immerse in Michigan in June this June and then for the Costa Rica program um, the next online start for it is in October and then you immerse in Costa Rica next February. But um, uh, there is uh, also the immersions that are happening in Mexico. Uh, so for those, you know, like immersions are great because you can travel from anywhere and come and join us and deep dive and spend time in the program, like in an ashram style, sort of like lifestyle retreat where you step away from life and deep dive into the programs. And that's just an amazing thing. We wake up every morning, we do our kriyas, the cleansing techniques, pranayama and meditation every morning, asana every morning, studies through the day, and then we conclude our days with meditation and and pranayama again and you just do that for like 17 days in a row and it's absolutely wonderful uh, very intensive way to learn and um, 
that's really great because you can come to from anywhere to anywhere that we're offering those if that's a style of program that interests you. So the immersion programs, uh, one is happening April 3rd to 19th in uh, Sorrento, BC. So um, I'm sorry, I've just like lost my chat box here. Um, oh, it's Erica that's in Penticton, right? So Sorrento is nice and close there to you. And then there is another in Edmonton in July. And Edmonton's a great program. We have, um, it's at a yoga retreat center uh, just south of um, Edmonton. Uh, that is owned by an Indian lady who's also an Ayurvedic chef and she is doing meals for us, uh, lunches and dinners for us for the whole program and cooking these Ayurvedic, absolutely delicious meals. And that program, because of the opportunity, we're taking advantage of offering a um, Ayurvedic cooking workshop as part of that particular uh, immersion. And then, of course, Mexico is in November, and Mexico is a brilliant, brilliant place to come and do yoga. We stay at the most beautiful locations, location in Malaki, which is a very authentic Mexican town in a little villa owned by a wonderful friend of ours that uh, we've been, how long have we been going to Malaki Mugs? Been a while. Uh, I think we've been going for about 14 years there. And the lady who has the villa is also a Soya grad because we met her there and she decided to take the training and then build a yoga studio where she has seven bungalows. So she has a beautiful pool and a beautiful garden and two palapas where we practice our yoga there as well. I did want to acknowledge also with Erica, the Penticton weekend program is starting uh, on the 28th of January. So there's still time to start with that. When you do the weekend program over four months, you can start your studies and do homework in between each sessions. When you do the immersion program, you need to have your homework done before you arrive. So you need to sign up well in advance so that you can do the online philosophy and anatomy studies before you show up. But with the weekend program and the online program that, um, uh, that you start usually those are spread out a little bit more and so you can do the program the homework for the program as you go yeah. that's one of the benefits of the weekend program is that you you go in for two days and immerse yourself into studies and then you can go home and absorb it and sort of go back to living your life and incorporate these practices into your life and then come back together um, with and have time to get homework done in between right and that's over the course of four months or so meeting every other weekend or along those lines so um that's a really you're right Penticton does start very soon and um uh, Lalita offers just an incredible teacher training um it's really wonderful there and her training her weekend training is in a beautiful location outside of Penticton at Caledon in Linden Gardens so in the beautiful hall there it's a stunning place so again you're kind of removed from the day-to-day the -day distractions and just immerse for that weekend. If you need to bill it somewhere for the weekend instead of drive back up to Apex, you can talk to her about the potential for that yeah. as well. As yeah, and that's the thing with the weekend trainings and um, the immersion trainings uh, or the hybrid trainings in Traverse City is we do our best to find billeting for anyone that wishes to come in from a bit of a distance. And, and that's um, we try to do that to ensure that people are keeping their expenses down as much as possible. That is something that we value a lot is um, making keeping this program as accessible as possible and then speaking oh sorry Max, go, ahead. go ahead go ahead well, i was just going to say speaking of keeping it accessible that's the online trainings make um it really possible for anyone to join into the yoga teacher training programs from anywhere in the world um we offer uh two upcoming online trainings um one is running on eastern time on weekdays and that begins in march and runs through july and they're meeting twice a week and then there's another one that's 
that's meeting on Sundays that begins in April and they'll be meeting three times a month and that'll go on over the course of 10 months. And those programs are really, really neat. Online uh, learning is really transformational, is, is um, still personal. We're meeting live via Zoom. There's still lots of conversation, lots of wonderful opportunity for making connections and friendships, even in an online setting. And uh, yeah, so, so that's sort of the makeup of the programs. Have I missed anything? I know you wanted to add or had something to add there, Max. I think the only thing that I really wanted to add there was ideally you want to be able to attend every session, but if you can't, if you're absent from the session, the teachers record the session so that you can catch up later. So if you miss too much of it, then you don't have that dynamic there. But if you have to miss something, it's not the end of the world. It used to be a really big deal with the Alliance that you couldn't miss. You had to make up every hour. But since we've had the experience of COVID and needed to move online, it's made it a lot easier for people to be able to make up the sessions, listen uh, to the, the recording of the session, and then carry forward from there. Yes. Awesome. Okay. Um, sorry, I was just watching. I think we've had someone drop here. Um, just going to keep an eye on our. Did you get all that? Yep. Yeah, yeah, you were good. The sound came through. You froze a little bit, but your sound came through just right. Fine, I think. Right? I can see Ivan. Thumbs up. You heard all that. <laughs> okay, good, good. Awesome. So I think we're, we're good there. Um, if for those that are here live, is there would, would you mind just putting in the chat box what um, program you're thinking you're leaning towards? Um, if there's a certain style of program, just so we can offer any um, you know insights as we know where your interests um, lies. Oh, okay, Erica, I see. So yeah, <laughs> I'm wondering what that's probably what I'm seeing happen there. Um, oh, awesome. Hybrid maybe immersion. Awesome, Dara. Great. Great, so we'll definitely be sure. I'll reach out with an email um, and get you guys the, the um, information on these programs specifically with some links. I missed a bit about there about Linden Gardens. So Linden Gardens is at Caledon, just outside of Penticton. And uh, Lalita, who is our Soya teacher trainer in that area, that's where the program will be hosted at. Um, so it's a, um, just a really beautiful gardens. I'm, I'm, I'll have to confirm with her exactly where inside during the winter months they'll be practicing there, but um, uh, there is, she owns the cafe, Frog City Cafe there, which is really exciting. And so it's really, it's new, a new location to us. I can't wait to, to go and check it out myself. The pictures are absolutely stunning. It is beautiful. I've been there and it's really lovely. Yes. Yes. Okay. Do you have more that you wanted to um, touch on before we move into questions? Um, yep, just a just a couple of quick things. Um, so first off, like if you are coming to um, if when you register for the program, we have if you pay in full at a time of registration, there's a three hundred dollar discount off the the um, tuition fee for Canadian. Uh, it's in Canadian dollars, and for anyone who is coming from the U.S. and joining one of the U.S. programs, you have, you can pay in U.S. dollars. So of course the pricing changes a little bit just based on the conversion. So it's two hundred dollars off the U.S. dollars off the U.S. price when you pay in full at time of registration. If you want to develop a, or put together a payment program, we have um, uh, the opportunity to put a payment program together to allow you to pay for this, um, your, your tuition over the course of uh, time usually it depends on the program exactly how that unfolds um, but I can definitely fill you in on that if you want some more information so pop your questions up if you have them um, uh, sorry my screen here um, okay 
Uh, and then we also offer uh, a referral fee. So if you refer someone our way or if someone has referred you, please make sure that we know. And um, if someone joins us and joins for uh, the program and, and pays us in full, we are very happy to pay you a $100 referral fee just to say thank you for that. So definitely keep that in mind if there's anyone that you know that might be interested in joining us um that, and that's a hundred dollars per person so we've actually experienced where one student got five hundred dollars sent her because she sent five people to the training so really helped uh, her own personal training so nice nice and then just i think i think really the last point would be that um, we offer these as both refresh and retreat. So all of our programs, you can join us um, if you um, care to join us without getting certified as a teacher, you can join us using the refresh program or the retreat program, and you pay a bit of a discounted fee and you can come for the whole thing or for half the program. And um, uh, come just as a personal retreat or just to deepen your studies um, because you're already you know like in love with yoga but so there's all different ways to participate with our programs and um, I guess at this stage Max is there anything else that you want to add before we open up for a Q&A? I think there is one more thing. <laughs> I want to just say that with being a Yoga Alliance registered school and an International Yoga Teachers Association school, we do have exams. But I want to tell you that if you invest in us, we invest in you. And so uh, I know that a lot of times students come to the training and then they start to panic about the exam. And we are there for everyone. So if you wrote the exam, and it didn't meet, meet the minimum mark, we let you take that exam home, study it, and write it again within a month. Because we know all we want is that you absorb the most amazing, life-changing information. So there's no trick questions. There's nothing like that in it. If you, if you tap into on our Soya YouTube channel or my Facebook page or the Soya Facebook page, we have the snippets of yoga philosophy that come out every Wednesday. And those snippets of yoga philosophy are things that we have in the training, like the five kinds of thought ways or um, the three qualities of nature or different things like this, the mudras in the child's pose. And these are really marvelous things to add to your, your life repertoire. And so we work hard to ensure that these things are, the, are, are um, put forward for you. So we don't expect you to remember everything. We're there to help you through. You can redo the practical exam, redo the written exam, but we are required to put these forth because we are registered teacher trainers. But we're going to do everything we can. As long as you wrap up the program, you will pass because we will be there for you. So you don't need to fear anything. We've had people with uh, learning disorders. We have had students who speak uh, Japanese and Chinese as their first languages. And I can remember one, she had a real problem of telling the difference between stand up or sit down. <laughs> so when she was teaching, she'd get them mixed up. But we work with you all the way through so that you will complete the program. Your investment will not go to waste. I just really wanted to say that. Yeah, yeah. And, and on that same thread, uh, we remain open to you after your graduation to continue to support you in your future studies or in your in your business of yoga or in whatever might be happening in your life. Um, our teachers uh, really become very invested in our students. We this this content is um, it just brings out the best connections and and as um, uh, teachers we just remain accessible for you always. Okay. Okay, so I think that uh, will that leads uh, that finishes up our 
component of the information we hope to cover. Is there any questions that have come up? And feel free to put them in the chat. Feel free to just unmute and, and ask your questions. Love to, to hear from you. Love to see your faces. <laughs> I have a question. Hi, Tara. Oh. Um, and here, I guess, now that I'm finished eating dinner, you can see my face. So you can put a face <laughs> <slid in. laughs> um, So my question is, uh, how, what would be a good way to kind of get a feel for the style of yoga for the teachers that are specific to the training that you select? I would say that if you go on to the YouTube channel, and Becky will send you the link for that, we have a number of recorded asana classes on there. One of the things that uh, Soya is quite specific about is introducing you to various styles of yoga as opposed to one lineage of yoga. So I'm trained in Shivananda yoga and Gitananda yoga and Eric Schiffman's freedom style yoga. Uh, you know, different people come from different areas, some from Anusara, Iyengar, uh, different pathways and we want to introduce you to the different pathways of yoga so that when you're done you can really understand when a student walks into your classroom if they say well i've been doing this kind of yoga or this kind of yoga you are a bit familiar with that as opposed to saying well i don't know what that is but then you can also pursue what really calls to you so we, we do have some specific lineages that we share, but we are also very open to that. So check out the YouTube channel. Take some of those different classes on there, and then you'll have a, a good idea. One of the things that we do follow with the International Yoga Teachers Association is that um, we try to teach you how to adapt the yoga without props and without uh, touching students. So we always ask permission before we touch. Uh, we do teach you modifications with a blanket in various different ways. And we do show you how, how to use props, but more in the advanced training, simply so that people don't feel like they have to have a duffel, duffel bag of uh, stuff to take to the yoga class, that you can do yoga at home with a couple of blankets and a yoga mat or even without a yoga mat. Yeah. Yeah. And in each program, so obviously we have a curriculum that we're following. And so whichever program you went to, you would get the same content. But of course, the, the lead trainer, of course, has their own specialties, their own interests, their own lineages that they've learned. Um, but then in addition to to that, like as just to expound on, on what Muggs was saying, is that we will bring in teachers that have those lineages too. So you'll have the lead trainer, but then there'll be other teachers that come in often throughout the program just to that you have had a chance to learn from other teachers and, and see how people approach yoga in different ways. Awesome. That's helpful. Thank you. You bet. Hi, Lana. Nice to, to see you. Thanks for joining us. Hi, can you see me okay? Yeah, I can yeah. see you. It's fine. Yes, yeah. We'll we'll be sure to get you the full recording so you can catch up on, on what you've missed there. Um, okay, is this Edmonton time or yeah, DC time? It's Edmonton. Oh. oh, I'm sorry. I'm in Kelowna, so. Oh, darn. Well, I'll get you the recording, but um, okay. feel, do you have any specific questions right off the bat that maybe we can just uh, answer for you here? Um, yeah, well, I wanted to do the teacher training, but is this specifically for Edmonton or is this no. for no, just, 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 for just of them. The, the mountain just in mountain time was the schedule because I'm here in Alberta and, and I own the zoom account. That's all. <laughs> yeah, well, I'll just listen and um, I am interested. Absolutely. Um, I just had surgery, though. So um, um, I'm, I had a breast reduction. So I'm not sure how long um, I have to wait before I can get going. Yeah. Well, that, it, once your doctor is giving you clearance to be moving um, uh, and, and whatever sort of like parameters are given you, 
we can accommodate that inside the training and it's always we always like to uh, Muggs was just sharing that we have worked with um, people from all different backgrounds all different needs all different special needs um, and um, including um, the people who are in recovery from surgeries or or you know all different walks and and places in their life so you do not need to be able to you do not need to come to our programs and feel like you are you have to do all of the advanced yoga asana postures or have that capability it is actually a great opportunity for us to be able to um uh accommodate and teach in that moment so if someone shows up and they have um special considerations well then it can be the opportunity for us as a group to learn how to to keep our yoga accessible in all the ways all right and i would add with lana being in Kelowna that uh Lalita in Penticton is uh, not only just a Soya teacher, but she really specializes in gentle yoga and pain care yoga. And so she it would be a great resource. So Lana Lalita has a program starting January 28th over weekends, but she also has an immersion coming up in Sorrento in March. So you can um, get in touch with Lalita. We can also give you her information. I'm not sure if you heard that when you dropped offline, but she is also a uh, trained pain care uh, specialist in yoga. So, but all of our teachers are, and as you're in the training, what we love is when people do, everybody has limitations, let's face it. So if we can just be open about them, everybody learns how to accommodate their students by us sharing what it is we need, whether it's shoulder injury or um, cancer or whatever, you know, we're there and we adapt and we want you to learn how to adapt. So everybody feels they can participate at the level that is best for them without feeling like um, they can't do it because everybody can do yoga. Yeah. yeah, no matter where they're at. Mm -hmm. Excellent. Sorry, Lana, you're muted. Please feel free to unmute him. <laughs> oh, sorry. Uh, my mom, I'll just tell you this quickly, was a, um, uh, did her training with you guys. And um, do, you, do you remember Anne Foss? Oh, of course I remember Anne Foss. Yes, how wonderful. Yeah. Are, are you mugs? Is that? Yeah. Because <laughs> oh, I just, I have my mom's books. And I was reading, she took her restorative yoga with you, I believe, mm -hmm. and looking through her old books. Mom passed away um, two years ago now. Oh, I wasn't aware that she passed away. Oh, wow. Well, what a beautiful soul. I've known her for many, many, many years. And um, yeah, that's so great. Well, how wonderful for you to come and join us. Yes, and she wanted me to go through you guys. I've been talking about it for doing it for years, and she said, do it through you guys. So anyways, yeah. Thank you, Lana. That's wonderful. Oh. Exciting. Okay, so uh, does anybody else have any questions? Ivan, Erica, Gabby. I will right. say that if, if you have questions that pop up afterwards, I'm going more. Pondering nobody that. else is going. Oh, great. Okay, yes, please. Yeah. Um, so you guys, do you do the, the weekends? Because that probably would be what, because I do work full time. So that's the direction I would have to go. Yeah. That one is starting January 28th in Penticton. With, okay. It's okay. It's okay because it's every second weekend. There's still time to start with the program and do the, the homework gradually as you go through. Uh, so we can get you in touch with Lalita on that. It's held at Linden Gardens, just outside of Kaledon. And uh, she will help get you started. It's, again, we like to teach small groups, so it's easily accommodating for everybody to get their opportunity to be heard and lots of attention in the teaching needs. 
Okay. The only thing with that is I'm I'm going to Mexico February third for two weeks. So would that you be can a talk to her about the schedule and okay. for the sessions? If you like, obviously, if you go for two weeks, you'll probably only miss one weekend. Okay. Yeah. Likely. And then that will be recorded. And depending on where you're at with that weekend, then you can watch the recordings and hand in, submit your homework for that. Oh, perfect. Okay, that would be great. I can even do it when I'm in Mexico anyways, too. So practicing. And and, be yeah. able to zoom you in. That would be wonderful. Yeah, yeah, even for part of the day, she may be able to zoom you in. Yeah, and that's the second weekend. I'm just looking at this. So February 11th and 12th looks like would be the only weekend that you would need to miss. And so uh, that's the second weekend. And, and we do have uh, those sessions recorded or you can work with um, uh, uh, Lalita around that. But of course, we do encourage, <laughs> come <laughs> as much as you can, of course, of course. Yeah, uh, absolutely. Yeah. Okay, is that the only weekend um, program going for this year then? Uh, in your area, yeah, yeah, and that'll be yearly in in this area. So it'll happen again in January of twenty twenty four. Okay, okay, that sounds good. My only concern is, you know, I can't. I'm not even supposed to do planks or anything right now, right? So that would be. Yeah, that's okay. You 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 would um you still have uh really um lots of time to to heal over the course okay. of the program because it goes all the way into the end of June. Oh, wow. Okay. Okay. Great. Okay. That's wonderful. Awesome. All right. Anyone else? Any other questions? Okay. I don't want to, I don't want to go before um, everyone has the chance. Um, so Becky, what we can do is we'll send the contact information for uh, Terry for sure and Lalita. And the online and programs as well. Yeah. Online programs and the immersions and uh, the, the Costa Rica one as well with um, Terry. So all of those are listed on our website. But if you want to actually reach out to the teachers, we'll give you their contact information. You can ask them the questions directly, speak to them. Uh, like Lana said, there's a, a for sure a session that she will have to miss. It's great to work that out in advance. Uh, it could even be, Lana, for example, that when you come back, that that session is live on a Zoom online, and then you could tap in and really get the teaching skills and stuff live. So we mix and match our sessions. So if you missed one that was live um, in person in Penticton, it could be happening online somewhere else and you can just request to be able uh, to be included in that so that you have some personal oh, interest. In yeah. Okay, that that's great. And this is the 200 hour? Yeah. Yes, yeah, yeah. Okay. The, three, the 300 hour for everybody's information is the next level up. So it's the professional level to equal a 500 hour certified teacher. With the 500 hour certification, then you can become a full teaching member of the International Yoga Teachers Association. But also it just takes you into another level, a deeper level of the studies, we move into the Hatha Yoga Pradipika and the Upanishad, uh, the uh, deeper studies of karma, reincarnation, and the koshas, which are the layers of our being, the energetic layers of our being, and different variety of teaching skills, uh, different modifications, deeper information on how to use props, uh, how to plan uh, private classes, uh, retreats and workshops, how to cost them out. So more practical business information in that as well. So, just, But one thing to know with these yoga philosophy texts is they repeat the concepts. They repeat the concepts so that they just come from another direction. The concepts are real, they're really life-changing, 
And so each one from a Hatha yoga approach or a meditation approach or a wisdom approach or a devotional approach, they all have the same concepts. And right. so you, one of the things I love is when people come to our annual yoga retreat, which is coming up the first weekend of June. And at this annual yoga retreat, we bring in phenomenal renowned teachers and they know their yoga. But when our students come in there, they can understand what they're talking about because they've been exposed to the philosophy, the terminology and the depth of yoga. So it's really exciting because they're not missing anything. And I have great pleasure in telling our presenters, just give it to us, right? Because we wanna hear what you've got to say. And it's, so this one in June is all about the stories behind the yoga poses. So why is it called Bhujangasana or Nataraj Asana? Because there's a story, Ganesha, you know, um, Hanuman Asana, there's a story behind that that has an energy and a power. And Dr. Ananda, who is uh, my current living guru uh, and teacher, he wouldn't call himself a guru, but he knows he is, <laughs> but he calls himself a teacher. Uh, he, he says, when we do these yoga poses, we uh, embody the poses. We embody what they are. So we might get into the cat pose, which just looks like a simple pose. But what is a cat? It, like, are you a tiger? Are you, or are you a little, you know, kitty cat? And what's your energy behind that pose? So if you know the stories behind the poses, you can really embody the essence of them. And this is what our retreat is going to be about. So it's philosophical, it's energy, and a lot of fun. It'll be great fun. So. That sounds amazing. Am I able to do that retreat just starting off, like with the weekend? Absolutely. It's open for everybody. We get all walks of people, and uh, Becky can send you the link for that too and the information. But they're really fun, fun retreats. So we're really excited about it and really looking forward to it. We had a couple of years off because of COVID, but uh, this year we have Dr. Raj Malkaran coming uh, from Toronto to lead it. And uh, yeah, he's got a book out, The Stories Behind the Poses. So we're going to teach from the book and talk from the book. It's going to be great. Okay. Mm -hmm. Yes, everyone is welcome to join us for that event. Awesome. It's open for all. Right. However, it is filling. That quickly. sounds great. So don't delay. It is filling quite yeah. quickly. Yeah. So this is really exciting for us. It's lovely to see the response that everyone is ready to be getting back together and practicing yoga together again. Just so wonderful is yeah and that sorry that's in sorrento is it yeah at the okay. sorrento the very Center. first weekend of june so becky will send you the link for that and the information. That for everyone in there okay, okay. awesome wow oh awesome okay so glad to hear that um uh some things lots to consider so when i reach out i'll just send an email i'll i'll link the programs that i can see that you've indicated you're specifically in, interested in but uh feel free my cell phone number will be in there uh in my email you can feel free to text or call as well um or if there's any other programs that you want to hear about we can i can get you that info um of course hey, becky, you can you also send them the latest e-newsletter Oh, yeah, for sure I can. It's got some great information in there, including a, our year in review, so you can see what we got up to last year in uh, uh, with all of our pictures. We have lots and lots of pictures to choose from, so uh, lots of really fun things, our programs, uh, with wonderful, wonderful people that we get to hang out with all year. So I'll definitely do that. Um, you can check out all of our information is on our website, um, soyayoga.com. And you can catch us on Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter, LinkedIn, all the places we are there. So feel free to connect with us on those as well. Um, and and email, you know, us. email us your questions. Yeah, email, yeah, or, or Facebook Messenger. I'm on the other side. That's me. And um, 
happy or mugs because mugs is always um, so responsive as well. So we do our best to to connect with you in any way that's going to be um, most effective for you. So, uh, awesome. Oh, and our YouTube channel is just like so amazing. So definitely go check out our YouTube channel. It's so okay. good. Yeah. Okay. Exciting. Yay. Oh. Awesome. Thank you so much. Uh, I'm so glad that this was helpful, uh, Tara. I'm glad that we answered your questions, Gabby. Um, thank you, Ivan, for joining us. I'll definitely send you some information about our upcoming online programs and um, look forward to connecting with you and all of you. Okay. Mm -hmm. well, thank you. Thank, thank you, you, everybody. Thank you. Thank you. Please thank you. send your questions. Yeah. Okay, You're great. Fine. Okay. Thank you so much. Are you able to send so that I can watch the uh, the pre report? Okay, great. Gotcha. I'll, I'll send the recording out to everyone just so you can review it um, if you have any spots that you wanted to come back to as well. Okay. Yeah. Wonderful. Thank you so much. You're welcome, Lana. Bye. Bye, all. Take care. Okay. Love. Bye. Bye.